Oh, hi everybody, welcome back. It's Gary from Peerless Estate Sales. This week we are privileged to be working in a beautiful arts and crafts style house on Mount Tabor. Congratulations to Tracy Weens of Old PDX Homes for selling this house quickly. It closes in just a few days, so we've gotta get it emptied out with your help. This week's estate sale features this wonderful arts and crafts inspired dining table from Portland artisans Simon and Tony. This table measures eight feet long and seats 10 guests comfortably. You'll need a sizable dining room though because you'll have no leaves to store in the hall closet. Especially known for their finishes, the top of this table is almost an illusion. You'll be torn between wanting to cover it with a tablecloth for protection or showing it off to your guests. Four cutlery drawers on each side. Don't need a dining room table? I know just what you're thinking. Conference table. Library table. For almost 40 years, Bill, Tony, and David Simon have been designers and builders of high-end custom furniture and cabinetry. You can find them at 2901 Northwest Front Avenue. Let's take a look in the kitchen. They did that too. And this surprise, the owners were at work one day when the designers called and said, we've got a great idea for your refrigerator. They came home later that day to the delight of this whimsical creation. Hey Mitch, how's the book collection? Books are good. House of Oracles. Doesn't look like much, but then hey, it's got another book on the back. The Parade. It's a story about beginning of World War II, other than just pictures, very evocative. Organic Dog Biscuit Cookbook, perfect. Design book for Italy, all these cool vintage, lots of cool stuff in there. A perfectly functioning weaving loom, spinning wheel, and warping boards. This awesome draftsman's map chest. Of course, there's always a great garage sale at every estate sale. This dramatic solid mahogany hall tree, also custom made by Simon and Tony, available for sale this weekend. There are many pieces of art in the house, too. This is one of my favorites this week um, by Clive Bouillon, 1999. I had the rare chance of getting to meet the artist and talk to him a little bit about his painting. So, do you recognize this? Oh, I do. Painted around 1999. Yeah. Just a simple little painting. Was there a subject in mind? Not necessarily. I was just doing quite a few smaller pieces, a lot like this. I was doing a lot of work at the time. Um, how much do you think I should price this in the estate sale? Boy, that's a, that's a bad one. 